It was early November 2018 and I had just returned from a long year on the road. I felt the need to lock myself in the studio to produce new music. I had decided to devote the next seven months to making it happen. For me, there are no shortcuts when making a new record, and I'm not good friends with compromise. So two days after returning, I sat at my keyboard and computer and a hot cup of tea and struck the first note. When creating new music, you really have to dig deep. There can be elements of surprise, but also potential for failure. That's what happens when you explore new possibilities, when you take chances. Whenever you begin a new project, there is a wave of impending excitement, but it isn't necessarily a conclusion that it will materialize into the musical and oral potential that you visualize. There is a process to creating music, it requires a lot of thought and attention to so many details. The journey begins with one note, one lyric, one beat of a drum, and grows from there. It's quite remarkable. The guitar plays an important role in much of this music. So as a keyboard player who must record ideas in the MIDI domain, which impart the correct sound and feeling for the song, I use a virtual guitar instrument. In my case, I use shreddage. So let's just do a let's let's just do a pass. Okay. See how it feels. I know you haven't had time to to look it's at it. Pretty much sight reading. Sight changes reading for solo. Virgil Donati chord changes, which is not not easy. The other important factor is the cast of musicians. I've had the fortune to work with some outstanding talent for this record, and this is a testament to the incredible musicians who were able to pull off some of the challenging playing I was demanding of them. Come on, that dinner is going to be even better. Then. Oh yeah. Okay, i got to earn my pork chops. Pork <laughs> chops, pork chops. Andre has been touring with me post ITL and I'm thrilled to have him finally playing on a record of mine. He's incredibly gifted and continues to grow in stature. Valley jump or or yeah. not, you know. So, but that's why I hire the gu the guys who I know <laughs> can uh, withstand a little bit of pressure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I love this pressure.
I travelled to Australia to continue work on the record with a few of my very old friends who I wanted to have creative input. Reggie, Irwin, Joe and I go back a long way. All remarkable talents. Extraordinary, actually. I spent a week writing lyrics and some vocal melody ideas with Reg and uh, to this day Derwin and I had already remotely worked on a vocal melody for the title track Ruination. Here we are at Reggie's studio in Warrandyte on the outskirts of Melbourne. Beautiful place. So, it's reamping time, so we just happen to have a custom made, our something we prepared earlier. What are we doing? We're getting ready to reamp? Yeah, we're making up a bantam to unbalanced quarter inch phono so I can plug my Harrison 4032 straight into a Marshall amplifier. Old school. So we're going to have a nice clean guitar signal. This is how we work here. And then when we're done with the music, we, we move on. Get back to the car. Get back to the car. <laughs> Rebuilding this baby. What, what have you dropped in here? Okay, it's an LS1 yes. and it's going to have cam and heads, just so it's a daily driver, uh, but it'll have a Walkinshaw inlet manifold, custom pipes, custom... Straight from Bantam to Marshall. Make sure the speaker's plugged in, we're all good. We're running a 57 into a Symmetrix 528 mic pre on a flat front Marshall box. This, just in case you know, is more for my benefit than anybody else's because basically i got to remember what I do. <laughs> <laughs> and I can hear a Marshall in the background. And this is our distortion pedal. Basically we can send as much volume as we want to the amp. Get as much gain as we want. And it also means that we can automate the amount of gain we've got. Is that what you're doing, what you want it to do? Yeah. Okay. Before that, yeah. Before that. Da 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 Basically simulate like jump on the dirt box yeah. out of the back of your fire. Yeah. Those lyrics, didn't you? Run, run. Yeah. Woo. Cool. Oh. <laughs> Did we get anything? What? In there? 
And that had some, a bit of blood in it? Yeah. Well, you gotta yeah. fucking do that. Nice. You gotta repeat that one, mate. See you at the gig. Yeah. <laughs> So I kind of go on Schoenberg a little bit, you know? Don't touch the rest. That's that's. <laughs> yeah, can I? I I just can I just get the vocal in there, Reg, please? Sorry, I can't hear any any fucking singing. So it's not a bad. Oh yeah. How's that? Yeah. Okay. In these times, such troubled times. Gods blow my mind. 
Setting up. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, Hell yeah. So, well, this is the Nord Lead 3. They don't make them anymore, but they should. We are Today we're doing overdubs for Virgil Donati's new record, which is forthcoming. Heck yeah. Yeah, it's going to be really good and Sweet. very adventurous. Awesome. And well worth the resultant uh, twitch and limp that I'm probably going to acquire from recording. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is the Tech 21 fly rig. Butchie Cotson model. Uh, it's uh, basically three, um, three options, delay, uh, amp modeler, and if that isn't enough, um, an even more aggressive drive on top of that, because you, because you never know. One more.
Thank you.